वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम देवी प्रसाद पाल आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू ए प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स सो लेट अस फर्स्ट सी द प्रॉब्लम सो दैट द डी प्रॉब्ली वेवलेंथ लैम्डा ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एक्सेलरेटेड थ्रू ए पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ वी वोल्ट्स इज लैम्डा इक्वल टू एच बाय रूट ऑफ हर टू एम ई भी एंड व्हिच इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ हर वन फिफ्टी बाय भी एंगस्ट्रोम फिर दिस भी इज कैपिटल कैपिटल लेटर इज इन कैपिटल लेटर एंड व्हिच डिनोट्स द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस थ्रू व्हिच द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एक्सेलरेटेड so we, we have to calculate de broglie wavelength lambda of an electron which is accelerated through a potential difference of v volts so let us see the solution of this problem let us consider an electron of mass m and charge e let v be the velocity of an electron when it is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of v volts here v is in capital letter which denotes the potential difference and this is small letter v which denotes the velocity of electron when it is accelerated from rest through the potential difference v now kinetic energy gained by the electron here is half mv square and the work done on the electron is e capital v now from work energy principle we can say that kinetic energy gained by electron is always equal to work done on it this is work energy principle kinetic energy gained by a particle always equal to work done on it and here the particle is electron so kinetic energy gained by electron is always equal to work done on the electron so we can write kinetic energy gained by electron equal to work done on it or work done on the electron so we can say half mv square equal to e capital v so next step we write that half mv square equal to e capital v so in next step we can get v equal to root over 2 e capital v by m and this is the expression of velocity of electron when it is accelerated through the potential difference of capital v and this is equation 1 now the de broglie wavelength of electron is lambda equal to h by mv we know it that de broglie wavelength of a particle of mass m which is accelerated with a sorry which is whose velocity is v then we can write lambda equal to h by mv mv is the momentum of the particle here the particle is electron and whose value is whose mass is m and velocity is v when it is accelerated through the potential difference capital v so this is equation 2 and in equation 1 we have already calculated that the velocity of electron and if we use this expression in place of v in equation 2 we can use it so using equation 1 in equation 2 we get if we use equation 1 that is value that is value of this v if we use in this equation in place of small v then we can easily get lambda equal to h by root over 2 m e capital p so this is the expression and we arrived the expression 
that lambda equal to h by root over 2 in e capital p now if we if we use the value of these constants in this equation where h is the Planck's constant and whose value is 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second in SI system and n is the mass of electron and whose value is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and e is the charge of electron and which is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and if we use this value in this equation then we can write we can get lambda equal to 12.25 into 10 to the power minus 10 by root of R capital P in SI system and unit of lambda that is unit of wavelength is meter so the unit is meter here now we know 10 to the power minus 10 meter equal to 1 angstrom so in next step we can write lambda equal to 12.25 by root of her capital P angstrom and next step finally we can write lambda equal to root of her 150 by capital P which denotes voltage and in the unit of angstrom so lambda equal to root of her 150 by V angstrom which gives the de Broglie wavelength of an, of an electron which is accelerated through a potential difference capital P. So this is the calculation and thank you for watching my video.